Welcome to our electrical engineering YouTube channel. In this video, we will see an example on equivalent resistance. To download our electrical engineering app, you can visit this website link electrical engineering.app. There, you will find all the notes, MCQs, and much more. Question Find equivalent resistance between terminals A and B. Now, here for this network, we have to determine its equivalent resistance. Solution First of all, we will take this circuit. Now, simply here we can see this 15, this 10 ohm, and this 5 ohm they are connected in series. So, this will be simply 15 ohm. So, let's make this. Now, here what we can do? We will replace these two resistance by a single resistance of 15 ohm. So, it will be like this. This will be simply 15 ohm. Now, similarly, here also, this will be 15 ohm. They are also connected in series. And here also, this 4 ohm and 11 ohm, they are also connected in series. So, this will be 15 ohm. Now, next, what we can do? Here, let's assume this as node C. So, let's say this is node C. And here, let's assume this as node D. Now, here, they both are same. So, this is also D and here also D. Similarly, here it is C. So, here also it is C. So, now what we can do? We can redraw this network. So, let's take let let's stretch this so on right side we will take a terminal a and on left side we will take terminal b so here the network will look like this let's say this is a and here this is b now at the terminal A, there is a resistance connected of 6 ohm. So, it will be of 6 ohm sim simply. This is of 6 ohm. Then, between terminal B and D, there is a 8 ohm resistance. So, this is B. And let's say, this is D. And this is of 8 ohm. And here between A and C, this is 6 ohm. So, this is C and this is 6 ohm. Now, next, between C and D. Between C and D, there is a resistance of 15 ohm. So, between C and D, there is a resistance of 15 ohm. Now, here we have completed this and this and this resistance. Now, remaining resistance, again, resistance between C and D. So, it is 15 ohm. So, again, there is a resistance between C and D and that is 15 ohm. So, it is simply 15 ohm. Then, again, between C and D, there is one more resistance and that is 15 ohm. So, this 15 ohm again. So, it will look like this. This is of 15 ohm. Now, all the resistances are completed. So, now we can easily simplify this network. So, let's simplify it. So, 15 ohm, 15 ohm and 15 ohm. They are all connected in parallel. So, here we can write 15 ohm parallel with 15 ohm parallel with 15 ohm. So, it will be it will be like this 1 upon let's say REQ is equal to 1 upon 15 plus 1 upon 15 plus 1 upon 15. So, therefore it will be 3 upon 15. 1 plus 1 plus 1 and uh, 
denominator will be same 15 so therefore 1 upon req is equal to 3 by 15 and therefore req is equal to 15 divided by 3 and that is 5 ohm so again what we can do we can redraw this network so let's redraw this so it will be now we can replace these three resistances by a single resistance of 5 ohm so let's replace it now here this will be simply 5 ohm now these are all connected in series so here we can write r a b is equal to 8 plus 5 plus 6 so 8 plus 5 plus 6 it is simply 19 ohm so therefore r a b is equal to 19 ohm resistance so this is the final equivalent resistance between terminal a and b and this is how we can solve these types of network don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching